What is like media liability and how does the cyber insurance cover that? So the media liability is encompasses a lot. So copyright infringement, I take a photo off of Google, I put it on my website. It's a pretty picture. Life is good. I get a notice from a lawyer saying, hey, that's not yours. <laughs> we own it, you know. And now I'm suing you for it. So that's that's one exposure for media liability. It's also the way people communicate and speak um, on the internet. You know, you hear a lot of people that say, this person gave me a one-star review. They've never been here. All they did was bash us and we don't know who they are and what's going on. Google's actually been very good at removing some of those reviews. Yeah. If you can prove that it, it, it truly is fake, um, they're pretty quick about it. But there are businesses that, you know, if, if you speak poorly slanderous and defamatory of somebody without being truthful you know there could be an issue and an exposure there so it really you know it's it's just the same as you know being a bully on your personal uh social accounts as being a bully on your your business accounts and getting bullied on your business accounts and you know and stealing other people's copyrighted information which is super important to, to make sure you're using original original information. I got I did get caught once. Um, I had somebody working for me who was taking photos off of Google. Mm. And we got a legal notice and I sent it over to, to a lawyer. And I said, is this legit? They said, yes. I said, what should we do? He said, pay it. Huh. Um, because it was still cheaper than getting an actual lawsuit by these trolls um, that are out there and there are internet trolls looking for things that are wrong, whether it's copyrighted photos, they contact the, the artist, the photographer and say, Hey, we're going to represent you and whatever money we collect, we're going to give you 30%. They say, great. Here's all my pictures. Have at it. Right. So those who own the photos will make a little bit of money and the lawyers will make a lot of bit of money by sending threatening letters. And so I did, I called the company. I said, Hey, and they screenshot everything. You can't say, Oh, I did, uh, you know, I can say, Hey, I took this down already. I apologize. What can we do to settle it? And we came up with a number that was mutually agreeable and I paid it. Mm -hmm. You know, I think it cost me a thousand dollars at the end of the day versus trying to fight a $12,000 claim for, for using somebody's media. You know, so there's a lot of that going on. ADA compliance related issues on the internet, on physical locations um, are a thing. I know we have a compliance uh, piece on our website, which, which, talks about and, and helps people using compliant software get what they need off of our website. So we're doing whatever we can, but you're never truly covered. So if there ever were an issue related to that, um, there, there's definitely some coverage for it in this policy.